To begin the 950XL repair process, you will begin by closing the inlet and outlet shutoff valves. You want to open the number two, number three, and your number four test cocks to release the pressure from the valve. To service the first check valve, you will unscrew the check valve cover using a large wrench. Use extreme caution while removing the covers. The covers are spring-loaded and under tension. Firmly hold the cover while unscrewing to prevent unintentional ejection of spring or cover, which could result in serious injury. Next, you will remove the cover, the spring, and the poppet assembly from the valve. You will want to turn the poppet over and inspect the rubber seal ring for cuts or debris. To remove a damaged seal ring, remove the screw and retaining washer. For a temporary fix, you can flip the seal ring over to use the smooth side while waiting for new replacement parts. Next, you will want to inspect the valve cavity and seating area and remove any debris. You will want to inspect the sharp edge of the seat with your finger for any damage. A damaged seat can be replaced with new parts and a special tool. You want to make sure to lubricate your O-ring and be careful not to cross-thread the new seat when installing in the body. Now you place the poppet assembly back in the body. Center the spring on the poppet. Center the cover on the spring. Push cover and thread back into body. Tighten with wrench. You will repeat this procedure on the second check valve. Valve should be tested by trained personnel to confirm that it is working properly. Now you can close the test cocks. Open the number one ball valve slowly to pressurize the valve. Inspect for any leaks. Open the number two ball valve a small amount and wait for the system to pressurize. Fully open ball valve once the system is pressurized.